Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new payware option from NZA Simulations. It's uh, two airports in the state of Tasmania off the southeast coast of Australia. It's uh, Hobart as you can see right here on the sign we're in Hobart uh, and also the other airport just a couple of miles away. Uh, it's called Cambridge YCBG. Now uh, I have showcased NZA Simulations freeware before uh, and if you've done any flying in Australia or New Zealand you've most probably downloaded some of their scenery and I always get comments to say man this is a payware quality well the guys have put some stuff together here for you to get here to go ahead and support them uh, and I was more than happy to put this video together uh, they, the guys actually put together the Hawaiian shirt and uh, and also the other Kiwi Air uh, uniform for my pilots and so uh, more than happy to showcase this. Um, now it is pretty much by the time this video goes up uh, the release would have happened. It's a planned release for the 19th of March, Friday 19th of March. Now if that's New Zealand or Australian time uh, then uh, that's probably more like uh, Thursday for some of you over in the States but uh, Friday the 19th of March are when you can get your hands on this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you some of the main highlights of this scenery and uh, once again they've absolutely done a fantastic job now just a little bit of a disclaimer up front here everybody is since the last update in Microsoft Flight Simulator last week I have caught the case of the stutters uh, and I'm not talking about the way I talk although you could accuse me of that uh, so if you do see little micro stutters during this video please be aware that that is me and my system as a result of the latest update nothing to do with the scenery I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out and I just can't figure it out so you might see a few stutters so uh, just be aware of that uh, but anyway one uh, we're, we're here in Hobart by the way so YMHB a couple of things that they've done they've placed 800, 800 sorry 8,800 hand place objects uh, and that, that's over 250 custom assets so they've really put a lot of detail into this to faithfully uh, recreate uh, the uh, airport here in, uh, in Hobart and if you look through the look at this looking through the uh, windows here in the terminal you can see uh, all the seats and the arrangement the cafe in the background so that looks really really cool now a couple of features that I really love about the scenery right here some of the static aircraft that are around the place and you'll notice a few uh, and here goes the uh, 717 uh, Tasmanian Devil uh, version. So you can see the Tasmanian Devil there on the side of the aircraft. And uh, I love the little baggage uh, handlers right here. They've done a great job. As you can see, the aircraft is just crawling with assets. Oh, here goes one I really love. The Sky Bus. We've got these in New Zealand. But this little Sky Bus here uh, does little laps, dropping passengers uh, to and from their vehicles. Uh, and it actually pulls in over the station over here and then uh, continues on around the place and a uh, little touch like that really brings the airport to life. So what I'll do everybody before I continue on on this tour, how about I just show you a quick preview of what the default scenery looks like and then you can compare it to what uh, this payware version looks like. Uh, and as you can see obviously significant difference here so what they've gone ahead and done is obviously they've, uh, they've crafted the emergency uh, vehicles and the emergency station right here you definitely need that if Kiwi Air is flying in the area and what they've also done is a lot of the local businesses around here if you look closely at the buildings you'll recognize them if you're from the area or been here before you'll notice it's all the correct names of all the different companies around the place there we go we've got Qantas Freight there in the hangar uh, maybe just getting uh, a little bit of servicing right there but everywhere you go around here you're going to find a bunch of different things to discover a lot of those placeable objects uh, just to bring like I said bring life uh, to the entire airport as you can see just with the vegetation alone it's certainly quite a different look than the default scenery uh, and uh, certainly looks pretty pretty it looks pretty good uh, and the other thing you'll also notice is that the aprons and taxiways etc have been uh, redesigned and have put updated textures in there to uh, reflect what actually is uh, what you actually find at the airport itself. Now you might have just seen over in the background there that little uh, marker right there. That's Cambridge Airport. We're going to go and check that out in a minute. Look how close it is. Man, they've got to uh, have the air traffic controllers are really got to be on their toes around here. That looks like a VOR station over there on the other side of the runway. Uh, if we get down here a little bit closer to the taxiway, you can sort of preview. 
uh, what's going on over here. Uh, some peripheral buildings over there in the left hand side and you've got the control tower up here on the top of this hill. Uh, someone's done a really good job mowing these lawns by the way. Uh, some other placeables over there but <laughs> one cool little touch right here by the way. We've got the rotating light on the top there. If you go inside the, uh, inside the uh, controller tower right here, the aircraft control tower, we've got the name of this new series, it's called Proline, that's the name of the uh, payware series. And I'll tell you what, they've done a really great job, I and mean, you've got the little uh, radar set up there on the computer, uh, it's a very basic setup in here for these guys, they don't need a lot, well, I won't spoil too much else of uh, the airport, I'll let you get into it and check it out yourself so you can see a couple of little hidden easter eggs in there. Uh, one thing I will point out right down here I've just noticed is these uh, toll vans, now that's a local uh, courier company, well it is in New Zealand, it's a courier and transportation company so I assume it's the same, oh we've got a nice truck in there, it's the toll depot by the looks of it. So as you can see they've done a really great job, high quality texturing, uh, and really brought to life uh, the airport compared to the default scenery. So what I'm going to do everybody, how about we take a trip over to Cambridge and check it out. So here we go everybody in Cambridge YCBG and let me show you what the default scenery looks like before we take a look at the, uh, the upgraded Proline NZA version. Okay, you're going to notice some uh, pretty clear differences as we go along the top here. I spy go pies. Now I assume pies may be in relation to perhaps a local sports team, I'm thinking. Uh, that's just a guess. As you can see, you've got, it almost looks like a crop duster in here. There are a number of static aircraft that are you will find uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this upgraded scenery. Uh, I love the, the grass textures right here. Um, and I'm going to show you a few other things here that you uh, that that are actually pretty pretty cool. There's one particular thing they've done here that I think is absolutely sensational. We'll get to that very very soon. So as we uh, look around the airfield here, another kind of little feature here that I noticed was the uh, this must be something in Australia. I haven't seen this myself before, but it's a yellow windsock. So maybe that's just uh, the way they do it down here. Now there are a few rumours about the fact that Tasmanians are a little bit different, but I'm not going to go into that. Uh, what I'm going to do is continue to uh, work around here. We've got some choppers there. If only they could fly in Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, one thing I do want to show you though, and uh, uh, by the way, in this scenery here over in Cambridge, you're going to see the uh, BN2 Islander, the Britain Norman. You've got an air tractor AT802, which you would have seen already. You see the Islander over there in the background. But here goes something that I think is absolutely brilliant, and that's the fact that you get provided with some local liveries for Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft that you can actually fly yourself. So here we are with the Par Avion flight training livery. Uh, and I've got it sitting here on the Cessna 172. So if I popped inside, this is the aircraft right here. Uh, we'll pop outside and you can see I've got my Kiwi designator on there. So it actually comes with uh, two paint skins. You've got, um, you've got the Par Avion flight training, which is what we're in here. And also the Aero Club of Southern Tasmania. Uh, if we scroll up over here or pan up over here, there goes the Par Avion Wilderness Tour. So it, it ties in quite nicely there. I really like the fact that I've provided those. That's something a little bit different that you don't usually see with uh, soft with uh, scenery providers. So as we pan across the top of the airport right here, uh, you'll also see some of the, it uh, looks like uh, some sort of company. This looks like a garbage uh, company of some descri description. Water, Waste and Energy. Uh, so it looks like they pick up skip bins or something of that description. Once again, a local may be able to confirm that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We've got Cambridge YCBG. You've also got Hobart YMHB, and both of these are now available by, by NZA Simulations. They're Proline series. I'll put a link down in the description. Now, if you do buy both of these airports together, they are individual scenery packages. But if you do buy them together, uh, you will receive a discount. So make sure you check out your shopping cart when you do go ahead and purchase this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, support the the, uh, the developers. It's uh, you know they're doing a great job for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you did enjoy the video, also go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.